Hello, this is Tate with Black Brown Doors, blackbrowndoors.com. Today we want to talk about uh, one of my favorite things that are coming out right now, 22 caliber pistols that mimic their big brothers. And what I mean by that is 22 caliber pistols that look just like their 9mm 40 and 45 counterparts. They're full-size weapons that are designed to have the same, uh, you know, muscle memory type items and geometry of their full-size big brothers. Now these guns, this particular gun is the Sig Mosquito, one that has had a lot of criticism about it, and some people say it's the greatest gun ever vent, invented. Shot 10,000 rounds through it, hasn't had a problem. They do tend to have issues right out of the box with certain ammos. Now we have heard that if you're running the CCI Mini Mags, or if you're running the uh, Golden Bullet, that seems to work very well as far as bulk ammo goes. Even then, you're still saving money shooting these guns over shooting 9mm. Like I always tell everybody, right now, which is a joke on uh, Cheaper Than Dirt, we're, they're selling 9mm for 50 bucks a box. Worst case scenario, you buy the CCI Mini Mags that everybody says runs best in these guns, and you're going to spend 16 bucks a box. Okay? That's 100 rounds for 16 bucks. That's a quarter of the price. I mean, that's a killer freaking deal for being able to go out there and plink. Also, great for the family and great for the kids. You know, a full-size weapon that they can control, control with, you know, the actual kick of these guns is very minimal. And they are a full slide weapon. So it is not like your Rugers, your Mark III's and things like that, and some of your older Smith & Wessons where they're harder to, you know, you just got this little area in the back you're talking. These guns have all been checked for safety, by the way, just for all the haters out there. Uh, we wanted to talk about a couple things I've done to these guns. These are not my guns. A uh, friend of mine came and asked me to do some. These are not, we, you know, we're not doing this here at Black Rod Doors, but we wanted to kind of show you some things we did. Uh, one thing is, and go to a local gun store. They can do this for you. There's a huge problem with this weapon, and the fact of it is, is on the feed ramp here, and you probably won't be able to see this, but the feed ramp has a lip. And if you can polish out that feed ramp, it takes care of about 90% of the problems with the guns. Now, does that make it a bad gun that it has issues? As a weapon, it, it breaks my rule as a weapon that I use, you know, I like Glocks and Mini-14s, things like that, and I pulled everybody that, that I like guns that no matter what, if I pull the trigger, it makes a bang. Is this a gun I can say that about? I don't think so. I don't think I'm going to go through 10,000 rounds of ammunition and never have a misfire. It will probably have issues. But I'll tell you what, there is an advantage to that and a disadvantage. The disadvantage is, can I depend on it as a guaranteed weapon? No. Can I depend on it as a backup weapon? Yes. And that's what pistols are. Pistols are backup weapons. Pistols are good for 25 yards. Well, I've always told everybody I would take, you know, you put down the greatest Kimber 45 badass, you know, 45 caliber pistol and put it on the table and put a $200 1022 on the table and I'll take the 1022 every single time. The reason is because I can stand back at 70 yards and pop you every single time. Or I can shoot squirrels with or whatever that is. Pistols are backup weapons, okay? They're concealable, but they are backup weapons. It, would I use this as my primary weapon? No. Would I carry it as a backup if I'm running a 22 caliber rifle as my main rifle? Yes, absolutely. It's a great weapon for that. They're fairly light, very little kick, and a great training tool is what I really believe that the big advantage of them is. Because there is, you know, the Ruger, the Ruger Mark III's, some of the older Smith & Wesson guns don't have problems with ammo. They'll shoot anything. These guns do. So let's just admit it. Saying that, we can take care of about 90% of it with a polishing on the feed ramp. So something that we've done on this gun here, polished up the feed ramp, took out, you know, we actually went in with, a, with an actual Dremel tool and buffed out where the actual ramp goes into the gun. That helps a lot. The other thing we've done is we've actually taken a bore brush. I've gone in there, I hooked up the bore brush to a drill and took out any of the old junk that was because they didn't clean these guns very well when they came from the factory. Sorry, I did not see that they were cleaned properly when they came from the factory. They're a fairly reasonably priced gun. Uh, they have a solid barrel up here, which is really, really nice. Good quality magazines. 
the one real problem they have is that bad feed ramp. Easily fixable. You know, most of your shops are going to charge you 65 bucks to buff out a feed ramp like this. They're going to go in there, polish it all out for you, make it look really nice and smooth in there, and you're all set to go. That's not an unreasonable request. Saying that, if you're shooting SIGs, definitely recommend this guy. If you're shooting more Glock, Smith & Wesson, M&P type weapons, pick the Smith & Wesson M&P. It's going to be a little bit more reliable from what I've seen out there, and it will also be just a little bit more expensive. But if you've got to pay to have the feed ramp done on this gun anyways, well, it's a toss-up. So this is, uh, you know, like I'm saying, simple, easy guns to work on, but definitely that feed ramp is the biggest issue out there. Have that done when you buy the weapon. Just go ahead and have it done. It just solves the problem. And it allows it to be able to run a lot of the cheaper ammos out there and even work even better. Because a lot of people are complaining in some of their guns they're having issues. Of, these guys were saying about every 10 rounds they'd have a misfire or misfeed or failure to fire, one of those issues. They get to a point of where we, when we uh, do the feed ramp polishing and they're getting up to where they do 100 rounds and have a misfire. That's very reasonable for target shooting. They're target plinkers. They mimic big guns, but like I said, not a primary weapon, but a great prepping weapon. So this is Tate with Black Barrel Doors, blackbarreldoors.com, and saying have a great day.